The Life of Tommy Lucchese. Part 2. The Climb. When Lucchese was released from prison in 1923, three years into Prohibition, his old friends Charlie Luciano, Frank Costello, and Meyer Lansky had become partners with Jewish gangster Arnold the Brain Rothstein, selling bootleg alcohol. Then during the 1920s, Lucchese became a strong ally of the Lucianos and became a top member of the Gaetano Rhinus crime family. In August of 1927, Lucchese was arrested and charged with receiving stolen property. Then on July 18, 1928, he was arrested again along with his brother-in-law, Joseph Rosado, for the murder of Louis Carasulo. The charges were later dropped, though. Soon, Tommy Gagliano would take over the Reina family, and it would become the Gagliano family, and Lucchese would eventually become the underboss. By 1951, Gagliano died of natural causes, and as the underboss and de facto street boss for two decades, Lucchese was the obvious successor, and the family was quickly renamed the Lucchese crime family. Lucchese appointed mobster Stefano LaSalle as underboss, and Vincenzo Rao as conciliary. That same year, Lucchese formed an alliance with Luciano crime family underboss Vito Genovese and Anastasia crime family underboss Carlo Gambino with the long-term goal of gaining control of the commission. Lucchese became one of the most well-respected Costa Nostra bosses of the post-war era. He maintained close relationships with New York City politicians including mayors William O'Dyer and Vincent Impilateri. Lucchese concentrated on the core Cosa Nostra values of making money, keeping a low profile, and avoiding criminal prosecution. The Lucchese family came to dominate Manhattan's garment district and the related trucking industry by gaining control of key unions and trade associations. On November 17, 1952, the U.S. Attorney General James P. McGranary initiated denaturalization proceedings against Lucchese. In its filing, the government claimed that Lucchese did not reveal his entire arrest record when applying for citizenship in the 1930s. Stay tuned for part three. Thanks for watching.